Those producers with fall calving herds have recently weaned those fall-born calves, and they'll be saving some replacement heifers out of those recently weaned calves. Those replacement heifers are going to have to grow enough to go into a breeding season, say in, in late November, perhaps early December. Those replacement heifers need to gain about a pound and a half between now and the start of, of that breeding season. As they go through the summer, in most of Oklahoma, they're going to have adequate forage to graze on, but we want to remember that as we go further into July, August, and September, that forage is going to get drier, hotter, and more mature, and it's going to lose some of its protein content. These young cattle will need just a little bit of additional protein in order to best utilize that standing forage that's available to them. That's where a good supplementation program for these young replacement heifers can really be beneficial. You know, for years we've talked about the Oklahoma Gold program for stalker cattle in late summer grazing here in this, in this state. Well, it works the same way for those replacement heifers that we're going to breed next fall. Putting together a package with a small amount of a high protein supplement will help those young heifers and, and the microbes in their rumen to digest that more mature forage as we go into the late summer, early fall months. What I'm talking about is feeding someplace around one to two pounds of a 38 to say 45 percent crude protein supplement. In some cases, we may want to add the feed ingredient and ionophore, such things as lasalicid or monensin. Those particular ingredients will help those replacement heifers do a little better job of digesting that forage. Plus, they will help in terms of preventing coccidiosis in those young cattle. Also, research back in the 70s done at Texas A&M indicated that heifers that received nionophore for about 100 days reached puberty on the average about two weeks earlier than did counterparts that got exactly the same supplement, same pasture, but did not get the ionophore. And so that could be important in terms of getting a high percentage of those heifers cycling at the start of a breeding season, especially if you're going to use artificial insemination. Keep that in mind. I think it'll help in terms of getting a higher percentage of these heifers bred, and you'll be on your way to a good group of replacement heifers to go into your herd in the future. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner. <laughs>